Well, Shabbat Shalom. I hope you enjoyed these special financial PowerPoints, and I hope that you're sending them to your children and that they are prospering with them. This will be the last one, and my prayer for you now is, beloved, I desire that you prosper. I desire that you prosper in all things. I desire that you prosper beyond what I prosper. I desire the blessings of God to prosper in your health and to prosper in every place that you go. I desire that your soul prospers, that your mind, will, and emotions would be blessed. The last verse I want to look at with this series is Genesis 39, 21 through 23. But the Lord was with Joseph, and you know the Lord is with you. He showed him mercy and loving kindness and gave him favor in the sight of the warden in his prison. And the warden of the prison committed to Joseph care of all the prisoners who were in the prison. And whosoever was done there, he charged, he was in charge, whatever was done there, he was in charge of it. Verse 23, the prison warden paid no attention to anything that was in Joseph's charge, for the Lord was with him and made Whatever he did, prosper. Do you understand? There's no prison, there's no circumstance, there's no situation that can hinder you or hold you back from the blessing of God. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that this blessing of Joseph be released into each one of my partners on financial PowerPoints. That the wisdom of Joseph, the character of Joseph, the long suffering of Joseph, but that the faith of Joseph, not to bend his knees to the Egyptian gods, to be the man of God that he was in and out of prison, even after he was redeemed and taken before Pharaoh and made the second most powerful man in Egypt. He took the character of the prison to the, uh, his prime ministership into that government as he was under the dominion of Pharaoh. He was really under the dominion of God. Lord, raise up Joseph's. Raise up Esther's, those who will transform companies, transform nations, transform states. Raise them up now, understanding that the place you're in now is a place of blessing. And God's blessing can penetrate through the prison walls of your mind and through the prison walls of a prison, uh, through the prison wall of divorce, through the prison walls of financial failure, through the prison walls of bankruptcy. The word blessing can reach you because it's a word that is spirit in life and it's reaching you now. I bless you to be set free from your prison. I give you permission to prosper there, but to be transferred into another realm of authority very soon in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much. Give all these scriptures and these PowerPoints to your children and remember to say this to them. Beloved child, I desire that you prosper in all things in health, even as your soul prospers. That's what John said, and this is what I say over you, my son and daughter. I bless you to prosper. We love you. God bless you, and shalom. I'll see you next time.